In a matter of minutes, Michael Jigger Usher went from a man who was full of life to a victim of senseless gun violence. On Monday night, the 33-year-old was targeted by a lone gunman on Flamboyant Street. The Majestic Alley resident was walking toward Mahogany Street when the assailant snuck up from behind and shot him several times around 8 o'clock. His body remained on the pavement for several minutes until he was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. In the aftermath of his shooting, residents of the area criticized police for not rushing Usher to the hospital. It was only last week that Commissioner of Police Chester Williams clarified that it is not within the purview of police to transport injured persons. As you know, there is a standing protocol that we do not transport injured persons to the hospital. The police only transport the dead. Uh, injured persons are to be transported by the ambulance. And, um, if you go anywhere in the world, do you see the police take injured people to hospital? No. We're the only one who practice that nonsense in Belize. It's not the proper practice. Um, Usher was from Pink's Alley, better known as Majestic Alley. So it begs the question as to what he was doing in an unfriendly zone. A situation that even shocked the area representative of Fort George, Henry Charles Usher. It's only last night when I heard the news around 8 o'clock, I was very certain that uh, Michael Usher, better known as Jiga in the area, um, was killed. And where he was killed, because really, I was surprised to hear that he was in that area. It really is a loss to the community, because although Michael has had his run-ins with the law, and, you know, like everybody else, he has his issues, um, he was a man who was willing to assist in the community. He always worked with us when we had... Preliminary reports suggest that Usher was lured to his death. Just hours before he was murdered, he was socializing with a female friend at his home and later left with her. His family says he was hesitant but ultimately left never to return. His mother, Etlene Harris, described him as a humble and friendly man. Yes, he's an young gentleman. He graduated from Wesley College when she was 16. He went to Six Farm and come out when he was 19 years old. I understand he was someone who liked to dance. He was oh, the yes, the dance and all kind of thing and drink a, li a little. Yes, he liked to give jokes, make everybody laugh. Oh, yes, he was good. One little girl he have, one year old in February. Usher was an aspiring artist and often tried to spread positive messages in his songs. A friend of his spoke to her newsroom off camera and explained that just a couple of weeks ago, he saved a woman from drowning. I will save somebody's life, you know, easy. Can you put your life in a predicament for jumping in the water? I save somebody's life. We don't under the influence of alcohol. Can you lead us? Call for a bit of infesting and what's not. And when she reached the boat, about this, so the girl eat altercation. The police take her everybody off of the boat. In a remix of thing, police just watch the flow for see everything happen. I lead us get up and jump in the water. Just jump head in the water. Jigga is a good Samaritan, right us. Gone. I help the lady, the police assistants as well, check. My real G, I make her eat food. Just say, I make eat food, but I check, because a uh, good man, I take for work, I bet you know, big. Uh, anybody know a man, know a man, know a smart man. And who knows if you know him, he's a good man, understand? No care what we do in the street, no care what happen, we know probably goodness there, and people know probably goodness there, we. His family says that Usher was not a gang member, but he was working with the Leadership Intervention Unit to try and spark a change among youth in his marginalized community. He used to work with them LIU and he used to work with um, BTL one time as he left school he started to work with BTL but he left that but he was good I couldn't complain about him um, so he was a person who was well known in the era certainly a community activist a worker a campaigner and really um, he would be missed he would be missed so certainly um, I was saddened to hear and Condolences go to his mom, a long-time resident, a long-time resident in in Pink Sally, in the Majestic Alley area. And he leaves behind a very young daughter, a daughter who will not know her father, and a community that will grieve him. Police are yet to provide an official motive for Usher's murder, but speculation suggests he was swept up in ongoing gang feuds plaguing Belize City. His murder has resulted in several more persons from the St. Martin's area being detained by police. Vigilvers, Love News.